Southern Nevada is slowly becoming home to one of the largest Ethiopian and Eritrean communities in the U.S., with more than 40,000 people now calling Clark County home. There are now dozens of businesses in the Central Valley, and local leaders have begun working to create the county's first official culture district, Little Ethiopia. It would be located on Decatur between University and Twain. Fox 5's Alexis Fernandez reports that that dream is now closer to reality. At the intersection of Flamingo Road and Decatur Boulevard, you can find traditional Ethiopian food being cooked up at Lucy Restaurant. The beef is stir fried with onion, uh, garlic, some spices, tomato. This is one of the most popular meat dishes. Once you start eating, you will never stop. <laughs> Trust me, Ethiopian food, once you try it, you will love it. Woldu Tereda, a native Ethiopian, became one of the owners nearly 10 years ago. Other Ethiopians and Eritreans from different states, they come to Vegas. The first thing is they Google Ethiopian restaurants. They find this one and also there's more restaurants. So we're getting a lot of tourists nowadays. Woldu's restaurant is just one of dozens of Ethiopian and Eritrean businesses in this area. Next goal will be just creating the, the whole area like Los Angeles. Every time we open new business, we're hiring people. I don't do it myself. I have employees inside, more than five and six employees. And so that makes it, I'm proud of being here. There are an estimated 40,000 Ethiopians living in Southern Nevada. The area could soon become the county's first official cultural district. The Clark County Commission recently voted to draft an ordinance that would create Little Ethiopia in the areas between West Twain Avenue, University Avenue, and parts of South Decatur Boulevard. There are thousands and thousands of Ethiopians area trans in the city that they need to be recognized. Germa Zaid, a local community advocate, has been leading the project for the past four years. This is the epicenter for cultural diversity, and we are very diversified, and uh, Diversity is literally a virtue, in my opinion, and we would like to share our culture. Ethiopia has 3,000 years of history. He says they hope to continue growing as a community and want others to join them. We are part of Clark County, as I said earlier, and Clark County is part of us. There are Chinese, there are Koreans, there are Pakistanis, and on and on and on. And I, I think we need to go up together. And uh, I always say my MO is uh, united we stand, divided we fall. Alexis Fernandez, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Clark County commissioners still need to vote a final time on a proclamation. A date has not yet been scheduled.